I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's good y'all so today i want to talk to you a little bit about money and then we'll get into you know everything else okay so <clears throat> Crypto went down and then went right back up. Now, if crypto falls below 55K, all right, I believe we at 66K, uh, we will be in the bearish, which means that, you know, we're below where we're supposed to be. Not really where we're supposed to be, but we're just not up, okay? That is a great time for a lot of people to buy, but a lot of people that are not used to the market they run they be like oh it's going down i'm gonna leave you don't want to do that that's not smart that's why i said whatever money you put over there you just need to forget about it okay now <clears throat> we are pretty much on track we're actually not on track we're actually over track we're actually way above where we thought we were gonna be um and that's because a lot of people are buying into it okay the only thing that i want to articulate about bitcoin at this time <clears throat> is that the having season is soon maybe two months away all right and that is when coins like dogecoin ethereum okay first of all bitcoin goes up first then ethereum then altcoins or altcoins then ethereum i don't know why i don't put ethereum in the same category with everybody else but i just don't okay there are a lot of altcoins. If you sign up for membership, I actually share all my altcoins that I have in my portfolio with you guys if you are uh, a, a member on my um, YouTube page, okay? Bitcoin, this is going to be the last cycle that you guys can make earth, life, generation, changing events. And that is going to be with Dogecoin, the altcoins, and Ethereum. Bitcoin is gone, okay? It's, it's gone for regular people like you and I. <clears throat> and a lot of these people are like, what are we going to do? You know, I don't know if y'all know, but they have been laying off a lot of people, especially from normal corporations like PayPal, Shopify, Delta, big chains, okay? And then they, they're looking for more cuts as well. So you guys need to figure out what you like to do for fun and you will margin off of that, okay? The universe will give you the clients that you need to be successful. You don't need to be fearful, okay? It's a new time and it's a new vibration and we all the way here at this point. <clears throat> all right, Scorpio. So you could be feeling like your job is very unfulfilled but and you listening to what the fuck I got to say and stuff, but you like, bitch, what the fuck I'm gonna do, okay? So you need to go underneath this video and click that Robin Hood link, okay? Two people have done it and I am so grateful for, well, really three people. But you need to go click that fucking link. And then you need to transfer your debit card. Transfer those, those funds to your brokerage account. And then you need to go buy what I'm telling you to go fucking buy. Especially if it's the ones that are on the pennies right now, okay? Um, you feel unfulfilled? Do something that helps you prepare for the future, it's not hard. It's not difficult, but it does require action or the shit will stay the same. You could have an emotional attachment to a job that no longer is serving you. These people could be treating you like shit. You just know you outgrown this position. They don't give you no goddamn raise or nothing. They give you more responsibility. Okay. It's start. It's time to start investing in what you want to do for yourself. Figure out what the fuck that is. Okay. Explore your wants and needs and consider a change. Get a reading. We will go back and forth and figure out what you like from what you don't like. You have to take action though. First, I'm going to give you a chakra reading because you need to know what chakras is in balance and why you feel like this job is the only fucking money that you can make. Why are you not worthy for a meal? Why are you not worthy for two meal? Why is it bullish for you to even think of having your own private shit or a driver or a chef? You got to get over those barriers first, okay? 
Because people feel like, damn, you got a chef. You 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 doing something. Why? You know someone who knows a, that personally has a craft. You can pay them to come and do that. That is not a luxury item. Like in Jamaica, everybody got a maid. That's not expensive. Somebody need to come clean your house. It's a lot. Clean your whole house. Clean your kids. Do Be a mom. Fuck, suck. God, dang. You need somebody to clean? We ain't gonna have time to do it. You gotta go work too? I ain't put work in there. We got change. There's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. So spirit is telling you, telling you, bruh, go ahead and get the Robin Hood lit. Clink it. It's, it's secure. Okay? Then put money into the brokerage account. Then sign up for my membership. You could do it for one month or whatever. I'm going to share my whole portfolio on there for $5 or something. I don't even know how much it costs, okay? Okay, but I make y'all do that because it requires you to put forth some kind of fucking action. I don't know why people feel like if they give it to you for free, you know, it's not valuable. But if you got to pay $5 for it, I might want to fuck with it. And then they even charge you overpriced things like Louis Vuitton and all these brands. And these brands don't even give you the vibrational frequency from your clothes. Like clothes have a vibrational frequency. And you're paying top dollar for Nikes. And you know which frequency they have? 10, which is what, which, which will make you sick and depressed once that goes public i don't know some black people kind of slow they're gonna be like fuck that shit i'm still getting my jordans that's what i heard i mean that's what i'm saying some people don't give a damn and then you wonder why billionaires have their kids and ask be gosh unlock what was locked can now be open okay you wonder why you stuck you fucking hate your apartment your steps dirty whoever this is your steps dirty at your apartment or wherever you go Yo, yo, hallway, they need to pressure wash these steps. These, I hate dirty ass steps, okay? Um, you, you have opened the floodgates of abundance without limitation. So once you get past the things that I'm telling you, you will unlock something new. You will change a lot of stuff. Yo, your money will start growing because you're putting it somewhere and interest is growing by, by far. I'm telling you, this is the only time right now literally that you can make a decision that could change your motherfucking life and i'm telling y'all that every fucking day i've been getting on here telling you guys this is what you need to do a lot of y'all think this is a quick ponzi scheme this is not it the ponzi scheme is the fucking u.s dollar this time guys it's not what you think it is okay it's gonna be fucked up this time it's gonna be a little different it's gonna be a switch up it just is man <clears throat> a lot of you guys are thinking about doing some kind of handicapped transportation company you should do that i've been hearing that's been doing a really good situation some of y'all just thinking about doing uber uber eats or some shit you should do that it's gonna bring you some cash it's gonna change your life it's gonna give you get you know a little something 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 extra all right now things is telling you whatever you got going on with this transportation some of y'all getting y'all second car out the shop go ahead it's gonna be nice shine it up it could be red or something like that but you got another car and you need to get that bitch out of the shop you also got four five three so there's something going on with four five three all right some of y'all address could have bridge at the end of it okay some of y'all could have a london tag on your car but you ain't never been to london you ain't never been there mm -mm. okay it says a career in transportation such as travel driving and stepping and shipping could be um, a pay, a, plea, a, 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 a a pleasing to you, okay? Um, some of y'all could be wanting to go to the post office. Y'all could have used to work at the post office or UPS or something like that, okay? Also, some of y'all could be working on the trail or railing or carrying trailers. I be seeing them big-ass toes in my mind right now, them tubs that got that shit on there. Some of y'all are doing something in transportation. Y'all could be working at the airport as well. Y'all could be worried about if you're going to pass your test at the airport or for a flight attendant you will pass it but you will see people in your class not pass and that shit will hurt you will learn these stories about how these people have quit their jobs and done different things to get hired you will also hear about somebody getting hired real quick and lost their job real quick you like god damn mm -hmm. and they were contractors so somebody is you know getting a job and really happy about it and two weeks later they ain't even got that damn job no more it's gonna be quick Somebody has good luck on their side because they're not a, they're not scared to grow. So you're going to go tell somebody. This could be you or this could be somebody else. going to be like, oh, yeah, you told me to do Bitcoin. You're going to want a buddy to do this with you just in case you lose your money. That's not, that's not how it's going to go. That's not how it's going to go. I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, or somebody else. You have to make decisions for your fucking self. And if you got to do something with a buddy, it's not going to work. 
you also have take action. So Spirit is telling you to take action, just like you be going out here taking action for Black Lives Matter. Y'all need to take action for personal life matter. Go research what I'm telling you to do. Go research what it is with Ethereum. Go on YouTube, type in Bitcoin, go learn things. There's a reason why things are not on the TV because it's controlled media and it's not the kind of control you might want. You do have luck that's on your side. Some of you guys need to go play a lottery ticket. Um, some of y'all are rebellious or just hard-headed or somebody who's very hard-headed is going to keep coming to your energy. Okay. Yeah. They could be going into an unexpected, um, you could, somebody could call you and tell you they got in a car accident. It could be very unexpected. Somebody could call you and say, Hey, you know, you do you have a good lawyer for a car accident? Okay. Um, somebody feels very unfulfilled, um, by you or you or them. Okay. We about to go into the love portion of it. All right. That was all finances. Now let's get into the love portion. You could be dating somebody who drives buses or is a bus driver, okay? This person could change your life or you could change this person's life. This person feel like this bus driver job is not enough and they want to grow. They feel very unfulfilled. Now this don't have to be a bus driver. This could be an Uber driver. This could be somebody who work in city transportation. This could be somebody who work at the martyr station. Somebody feel like they can't cut a break. Somebody is so mad about this car accident that they got into. Somebody feels like you unlock a lot of money because you take action and you got good luck, okay? But it's not good luck. It's repetitive, consistent behavior, okay? <laughs> All right, let's see who the fuck this is. Whoever this is, they have like a city job or a government job. This person wants change in their life and they feel very sad that you think that they're unfulfilled by you or you are unfulfilled by them. This person has come to some kind of conclusion. They want to release a secret, okay? They, they want virtue. They want honesty. This is somebody who didn't give you that shit in the verse okay so this person is somebody who lied to you they were deceptive okay they ain't tell your ass the motherfucking truth they now want to release some secret because you don't even feel fulfilled by them anyway in your mind you can see that you're not fulfilled by them and it's because they didn't take action so they did not unlock something and when unexpected somebody could be getting a car accident <clears throat> damn the whole thing was like that Okay, so somebody does want to confess. My bad. My disrespect. My bad. Okay, so somebody does want to confess. They want to release a secret to you. They want to tell you the truth. My bad. No, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Spirit said, you need to turn that around, okay? Uh, yeah, somebody realized that you brought a lot of energy that shift their perspective. That's some powerful ass shit, but we are all gods. And gods have to sharpen God. I mean, iron has to sharpen iron, and a god has to show another god that they got. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and somebody wants to practice something, how to manifest, how to get things going in their own way. And they feel like you're the right person to talk to them about it. Okay. Somebody feels like you got a lot of wisdom and knowledge that you gained through a lot of experiences. And somebody feel like you could be a good school counselor. Okay. Now, Scorpios that I'm talking to, some of you guys are counselors. You're counselor for your friends, your family, your loved ones. You could have even been social workers. You also are people who solve a lot of problems. Okay. You also could have wanted to make your own business where you could have people come and get counseling. But you need to figure out a way that, that Medicaid can pay for this or you can get paid from this through some kind of other insurance. Okay. Look into it, y'all. Y'all really can partner up with these people all right because success is on your side so you want to get paid through medicaid so you can like charge people for services and you can do that look into what there is what they need to be as a vendor it says it's time for you to shine success from what you pour your heart into that could be that transportation company that you want to do okay so figure out what that is for you to be a vendor and go ahead and sign up and do that okay Y'all can do that, okay? You got moving on. Some of y'all need to sign up how y'all might sell fruits and stuff like that. Sign up to see how it is for you to sell to EBT customers, okay? So find out if you sell a natural business like EMOS, or you sell CMOS or whatever, you sell food. People need that, right? Okay, look up EBT. How can I get paid through EBT by being a, a distributor? Look that shit up so you can get paid through EBT. Man, everybody will buy your shit, okay? You got moving on. Endings that bring healthy beginnings, okay? So somebody was very stubborn with moving on. They wanted to keep all the hoes, all the niggas, all the bitches, all the hog monks, the pig feet. They wanted it all, okay? But then they got stuck. They met you and all the people, all the pig feet, all the hog monks, all the hoes, all the niggas, they wasn't fulfilled, bruh. They ain't one bringing that A energy, okay? They bringing one bringing that awakening energy, shouting, okay? So now somebody's stuck. They don't even want these motherfuckers. Isn't that funny? It says rest. 
listen to your body mentally physically and unwind so scorpio if spirit is just telling you uh-uh stay a little in the bed longer do what they telling you to do you be ready to jump up and go and just fight the good fight sit your ass down okay it says be open to change yeah this change might be stay down go to sleep rest you might have a real busy season you don't even know yet okay i heard you don't even know it all right that's retreat it says time spent alone reflection on the past and your current situation so right now you just need to look at what the fuck you got going on and see if that's the right shit you got going on you know what i'm saying you need to pay attention all right so i heard uh look out for signs from the divine acknowledge those red flags so scorpio you keep missing the red flag do 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 red flag do 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 red flag you like was that a red flag yes bitch okay so stop ignoring these red flags from whoever this is that's throwing you these red flags scorpio okay because you keep saying i need a sign and then look happen they go the damn sign again stop it okay you got to stop being hard-headed okay energy activation because whoever this is they draining you okay it says connect to the divine through meditation and prayer get the fuck away from this person <laughs> okay it could be a job too we got unfulfilled all right let's go on to the third version remember crowning your read is thinking about how you so unfulfilled you just don't get what you need okay you like oh this ain't right okay some of y'all need to go to sleep yeah somebody mad that you cut off their new beginning and they're not gonna have one this is somebody who is emotionally just frustrated okay they're not portraying that shit though they acting like everything cool everything gucci okay and this person feel like they never gonna find nobody that they have this kind of chemistry with you too and it's a lot of turmoil this person hurting inside but they just blocking that shit out like fuck that shit they think about you a lot too and they feel like they made too many motherfucking mistakes this is a uh, misunderstood, a victim, lost soul. Okay, this is somebody who always be sad and shit. Like, man, don't nothing work out for me. It's like, duh, if you don't do anything, bitch, no, it won't. Okay, but they holding on to the memories, but they know they made a lot of mistakes. This is such a pretty card. Okay, this person could go to the dock okay or this this you and this person could have go to the dock or y'all want to go to the dock or this person want to go to the docks with you all right this is so pretty though i love when i don't look at it also somebody wanted to go in nature with you maybe you went in nature with this person but this person always reminiscing and dwelling on how this shit was so bittersweet like damn that shit was gravy okay so somebody could like a lot of gravy on their food but somebody misses the connection that they had with you all right they want to try it again um, they want to start over, but they feel like that shit is dead. Let me see what the ending card is for my Scorpios. It said, never give up. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, it said yield in reverse. Okay. So what the fuck they talking about? Let me see where the book at. What did I do with the book? Okay. All right. So three could be significant. This person could be seeing three, three, three. Damn, the book opened straight up to the shit. That's creepy. All right. Needs a new perspective. So somebody was just... They didn't want to change their perspective when they was fucking with you. And now they unfulfilled. I told you all the hog marks, all the pig feet, all the hoes. Somebody just really liked that slogan. You know, they really was fucking with that dumb shit. All right. And now they just feel like, damn, I really should have changed my perspective. You know, now they want to move fast, quickly in another direction. But they can't force the situation, but they want to. Okay. Uh, it got to happen divinely played out. Because somebody just feel like you flaw or you, you shysty or... Or you ain't right. Like, why you coming now? All right? Uh, the yield thing is like somebody's going to be moving to you real fast. But you're going to really question like, what's up? Why you coming? What's changed? You know? You don't like the energy. And it's because this person is unfulfilled like a motherfucker. They, they're not happy. All right? They really ain't. That's why they moving so quickly over there. And they, they didn't want to change too. You do got a lot of money and success. So you got to be careful. And you got a lot of wisdom. So somebody could be just trying to play you with your emotions. But you felt very unfulfilled by this person. Maybe even cried. Look, this bit sad and shit. You could have had an orange. Oh, look, my sweater kind of matched her sweater. But this my daughter. Uh, Hello Kitty sweater. I guess that don't matter. Anyway, um, let me see what next. Let me see what next. We talked about Bitcoin. We talked. Okay, so let's get some messages from my spirit, um, for your angels. What your angels want you to work on? What does my angel? What does y'all angels want? Okay, so take divine guidance. So yeah, you being guided to do a lot of stuff. We talked about a lot of stuff. You need to follow your intuition. You be going against your intuition and shit. You need to stop doing that shit. That shit dumb. It's a purple here, and it says successful funding. So a lot of y'all gonna listen to me and not do nothing. Successful funding is in reverse. <laughs> I just telling y'all, I just don't want to be here. You know, in 2025, like y'all, I'm out here. I got two G wagons. It's buy one get one free. Like I just don't want to be doing that to y'all, and it's it's gonna be rough, you know. But I'm telling you right now. Now, you can take a dollar a day just like them kids on the commercial 
okay but this yo dollar for you and you won't even use the link at the link and go sign up for robin hood because you think it's a scheme i'm telling y'all the scheme is the u.s dollar y'all better listen y'all better for they tell you every day if you're not watching the news because i don't watch the news but i heard through the grapevine that they ain't got no money and they need to get a bailout for the 180 days now when 180 days is up what do you think they gonna do bail out again it's gonna be 60 day 90 day and then what's gonna happen then could be your money i don't know i can't predict the future but uh yeah y'all need to take what y'all divinely guided to do y'all need to take that shit because it's important it says if you nervous focus on service give save a soul free a bird that's some good little things that y'all can do that's free build something be creative start a craft clean your house the very first thing that you can do to shift your money is clean your toilet, clean your bathroom, make sure your shower clean, put eucalyptus in that motherfucker, vacuum up your area, make sure everything's straight, clean off your side table, make, it, make sure ain't no circles on that bitch, you know, just make sure it's clean, make sure your area clean, get some plants, snake plants, absolutely, get you a snake plant, put it in your room, put it in your kid room, if you can go to one of those Aldi stores, them stores got them plants, cheap as fuck, $7.99, $8, go get some of those motherfucker. light your whole house up with some snake plants okay all these things will purify the air the oxygen you got towers by your house you need to do these things this reading had a lot of sporadic outbursts i think that there's a lot of people who could listen to this reading because there was a lot like y'all know how i do readings and it do be a lot of sporadic outbursts but i don't know y'all still understand i love you guys bye Scorpios is really private, but will sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. Ah. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fix shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up, and uh -uh. they can't be kinda controlling like bitch. Shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta give them credit. Give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio. You